Okay, so today I'm just going to be making a video about secure hauling. Um, someone had a comment about whether or not you could make any money in secure hauling, and uh, whereas it's definitely not as much money as you could make from hauling rare spices in frontier outposts, which are FO anomalies, it's something that anyone can do. You can start with something like uh, a rhino or a mammoth. I'm using a galaxy today. The first thing you want to do is pull up in your map and click on the spice color option. And as you can see, there are six different colored regions. There's red, yellow, blue, green, orange, and purple. And they are exactly opposite to each other as far as the ones you want to buy and sell from. So yellow to orange, exact opposites. Blue to purple, exact opposites. And of course, red and green, exact opposites. So you're always going to sell to the opposite spice region. You're going to buy from one region, like the red, like over here. Uh, any one of these ones close to the core, always make sure that you're buying from close to the core and you're going to make sure that you sell to the farthest point away in the opposite color. So you could sell out there where there's some unsecures, um, but often there are player pirates that hang out there. So if you just want to stay insecure, that's what we're going to be doing today because uh, you can still make plenty of money hauling insecure. So the place I like to go to is uh, either Ined or Offineth or Lysek. Any of these areas up here will generally sell for, or they'll generally purchase the crates, I should say, for 700 or more. And you always want to purchase it for 700 or more. So we're going to come down here to buy, and then we're going to go up there to sell. And the reason I'm starting from Citadel instead of uh, starting, you know, purchasing it is because I really want everyone to be able to see, like, from square one how you can do this. So starting at Citadel and then going to where you have to go to, going through the whole process and selling it, um, I, I want everyone to see from the very beginning how you can do this. Now, in the very first systems that you go to, you may have where people have already purchased, okay? Because anybody can do this, as long as they have, um, you know, credits. They, they, can, they can purchase and then they can go sell. So, in the first systems you go to, people may have purchased the spice already. So, when you go into the system, you kind of have to check the spice platforms and see what their price is. Purchase between 300 and 400 don't really ever purchase over 400 um, because you can still make money but it's just you're not gonna make as much money so it's worth it to find one that's selling for about three to four hundred anywhere in between there um, and then that way you can you can buy that and sell it so like here's a spice platform right here so let's just check it out and see what they're selling for this is that's the first first red we went to Let's see. Okay, so that's 520. So that's not great. We don't, that's not what we want. So let's keep going. Because 520 is, is definitely over 400. That's too much to pay. We're just not going to make a bunch of profit if we, if we do that. So let's just keep going. And then hopefully they're selling it for cheaper here. If not, we'll just look around in a couple of these systems and then uh, buy something for cheap. I've done this enough times that I know in Ixuka, which is where we're at right now, they have on planet five there's a spice platform. I don't know what planet you warp in on, but I know on five there's a spice platform there because I've done this a few times. I think yeah, there's not yeah, there's not one on here, so let's just go over to five. I know there's a spice platform here. I'm not sure exactly where. I'm going to have to look for it for a second. Okay, it's right there. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go up to the top here and just check to see what the price is on here. Again, if it's over 400, just we're just going to keep looking through the other uh, systems that are close by. But you want to buy between like 300 and 400. So if you can get it for like 320, 360, 380, 
310, 300, those are all decent prices to pay. And this one's 360, so that's that's fine. We'll buy it. Now, when you buy it, make sure you use a slider and go all the way up, because what you'll see in a minute is after you purchase it, the price changes. So right now it's 360 per crate. Okay. But when I buy it, it just went up to 470. So the price alters when you buy it, and that means that, like, if you're doing this route from red to green, you can't just keep going to the same systems because you're going to lose profit because the price changes. You'll lose profits. So you have to go to these other ones and do the same thing. So like you'll have to buy in the red, sell up here to the far away green, and then when you're done with that route, you want to go and maybe sell, uh, buy in a different one like orange, or um, you know yellow, purple, blue, any any of those other ones. And when you set your route, always make sure to use safest route. So if we look at the security status, you can see that there's these unsecures. A lot of people go through those because they don't have safest route on. And then the, the, the players camp there and kill them. So you don't want to do that. So just turn on safest route. And it's only 13 jumps, so that's, that's really honestly not a big deal. A lot of people complain about 13 jumps, 26 jumps, you know, 30 jumps. It's, they're not that bad. Now I'm using a Galaxy, which has a 5 second warp charge time. If you're using something like a Shroud or a Veil, then you only have a 3 second warp charge time. So that's one of the things to consider when you're getting a hauler, uh, is the advantage of the warp charge time. If you don't want to take as much time, you could get something like a Shroud or a Veil, which would have a, a quicker warp charge time, and it makes your trip um, about a, a third, like a third less uh, the amount of time that it takes to go. So the first basic rule is just to recap as we're going, because we have some time while we're warping, we might as well just talk a little bit. The first basic rules are to use your map, turn on spice color, and familiarize yourself with the color regions. And always sell and buy to opposites, okay? So like red to green, green to red, yellow to orange, orange to yellow, and blue to purple, purple to blue. And that's going to be your best bet for making sure that you, you make money. Because you can sell to ones that are slightly adjacent, uh, but you're, you're just not going to make as much money. And if you're going to go you know, 13 jumps away, 20 jumps away, you might as well make the most amount of money that you can. So that was the first rule. Just familiarize yourself with the spice regions, always sell to the opposites. So the second rule is buy under 400, sell over 700. And again, that's for secure spices. If you're doing frontier FOs, you can make like 1500 per crate. When you're selling in some places so <laughs> this that's just the rule for secure spices pay under 400 sell for over 700 that's the second rule the other thing to know is that you don't have to have like the best hauling ship to start off so i have the galaxy i've been doing this a while i also have shroud i have like pretty much every hauling ship i think i don't have an estero right now but i have pretty much all the hauling ships The, um, the Mammoth, the Rhino, uh, those are pretty inexpensive. The Mammoth is like 3.5K or something like that. It's uh, not a very expensive ship to start with. If you wanted to, you could go and do missions for either like Trade Union or Corsac or anybody and then build up some cash. Build yourself up like uh, maybe 4 or 5K or something like that. You can get a Mammoth or a Rhino. Uh, make sure that you have enough money to actually purchase the crates with, not just to buy the ship with, and then get yourself the ship. Uh, go out and get some of these crates, uh, do a trip and, and see what you make. And you're going to be surprised at the end of this. Like you, you can make good money off of this. This isn't, again, like the most profitable. So you'll have a lot of uh, players who have played this for a while and they'll, they sort of like, the, hauling gets a lot of hate in the Starscape community and I'm not really sure why. I understand that for a lot of people it's kind of boring, you know, like they don't like to press spacebar, they don't have the attention span, whatever it is. 
it's boring for them and they don't they don't like to do it but when I'm doing this I'm not just sitting here pressing the space bar I usually have like a YouTube video going or you know I could be doing whatever I could be doing work or doing anything in between uh, pressing spacebar so if you're just sitting there staring at the screen pressing spacebar then I don't know you gotta multitask you gotta you know find something else to do in between if it's if it's a bother to you or just don't do this because again this isn't for everybody this is for some people this is for people like me this is for people who have a little patience people who want some easy money by just pressing spacebar because it's not a difficult thing to do and it doesn't take a whole lot of intelligence it just takes a small amount of time I mean if you look at it already we only have seven jumps left that's pretty decent we're like halfway there you know the other thing is if you're somebody who has a computer that can handle it you can always do what's called multi-boxing so for example I do multi-boxing with Yukons which are a mining ship I also do multi-boxing with hauling once in a while uh, you can have like I have like three or four accounts running at the same time and then you could just you know you're pressing spacebar on three or four accounts so you're, you're always doing something you're constantly looking at each screen to make sure that you're hitting the, the spacebar for each hauler so it continues to go and then you're gonna make three to four times the amount that you're making in one trip so you're making a lot more profit but you don't have to do that you can do this as a solo player it's just if you're also somebody who can multi-box this is a great way to stack up some credits like very quickly in a very short time or same with mining you know you can stack up a lot of resources very quickly so we're about five jumps away now um, and when we get there just like how in the first place when we were purchasing the spice we had to sort of look around a bit to make sure that we were getting the best deal when we go to sell the spice we also want to make sure that we're looking around to get the best deal if you come all this way if you jump like 20 jumps 30 jumps 15 jumps if you take any amount of jumps and you've come all that way you want to make sure that you're getting you know kind of the best price you can for it because otherwise what was the point what was the point of coming all that way if you're just going to take a really cheap price and then lose profits so when you get out that way again my rule is basically try to sell it for 700 or more um, but if other people have already sold it could be less it might be like you know it could be down to like 500 it could be 600 it could be 660 or something like that so try to sell for 700 or more uh, if it's less than 700 like I'm not gonna sell it because I've come all this way I want to make sure that I get my money so when you get to the system that you're going to make sure that you look around if you get there and it's under 700 just take an extra two or three jumps and look around and that way you're selling it for the most and you're getting the most profit you can and 700 credits on 30 crates is decent like it's not a bad bit of money for just pressing spacebar so these are some of the other hauling ships just to show you real quick there's a mammoth which can have a cargo capacity of nine and this is um, and then I, I will actually like I give these to new players and teach them how to haul and then I also have like fighting ships and mining ships so basically like if I see new players that sit down and they're kind of struggling a bit and they want to like learn something in the game I have all those extra ships and I'll just like give them a couple and then I kind of teach them the, the different ways to play mining or hauling or um, you know combat or whatever and it just kind of like helps people like get into the game a little bit you know because it can be frustrating this is a pretty grindy game and it's a little bit confusing to newer players so I just want people to be able to enjoy the game and kind of like help grow the community and uh, there's an update actually coming out uh, we don't know when it's gonna be the the creator hasn't mentioned when it's gonna drop yet um, but there's gonna be like player stations and you know new ships and there's gonna be like all kinds of new stuff so the game's gonna co completely uh, change you know the way it looks and everything is gonna completely change there's a lot of people up here in Lysentia today I just want to see are they okay so they're Lysentian they are not Lysentian, Lysentian. not aligned this person has a faction. What do they do? High sec miners. We are miners. We make money. We hunt drones. We make money. Please read all information and announcements. 
that will get you logged into the disco discord obviously okay so see that faction there they're miners so they they exclusively focus on mining and then it looked like they hunt drones and stuff in the meantime um so some people haul some people mine some people do pvp some people are pirates and they pirate other players there's so many ways you can play this game don't get trapped into doing like just one way you know find what you like and then play like that okay so this station is a bit far away so on my ship i have a war mod called light burner which hold on there it is yeah light burner and it just like helps you jump uh like 3k a lot quicker so you don't have to take forever because when you're hauling stuff you go a lot slower and as you can see this gets you right up to the station so we're gonna check to see what the price is here um, hopefully it's like 700 or more if not then we'll just keep looking okay that's only 600 so that's kind of garbage oh and also there's a storage feature so if you ever wanted to like store your spices you could um, and the reason you might have to do that is like for example if you landed in a system and you're an unsecure and maybe somebody's chasing you or maybe like for example there's NPC pirates and it's not a big deal they're not like killing you yeah and you can go to these other uh, systems here too so we're gonna check all these just to see what the best price is but yeah so you can store the spice under there and then it will let you go into the station because if you have crates on you you can't get into the station like you won't be able to go into the station with crates you have to store them first and then you can go inside so let's look around at some of these other systems and see what we can get hopefully it'll be at least 700 I'm not gonna spend too much time looking if I can get 700 today that's fine but you can get upwards of 800 and 900 uh, insecure it just depends on how much people have been selling to them already oh oh and these these are trade union freighters always check these because sometimes they have ships in them sometimes they have like really good stuff so just like always stop and check um, they're not too expensive and you can get a discount like I have a discount because I have tier 5 standing with trade union so if you get oh look at that Illuminar for 2400 that's not bad okay I'm gonna buy that <laughs> and then no, I don't need a gun um, oh, I'm gonna buy these rapid bolts because I also give these out for like you know newbie miners because on the otter you want something like a rapid bolt so that way you're you can shoot at the rocks quicker uh, I don't see a spice platform here so let's check another planet yeah, but that's not bad we got what did we get oh, we, we got a luminar and some rapid bolts that's pretty cool look at that luminar rapid bolt okay here's the station all right so if you click this one that looks like credits you can see your economic economic activity you go to transaction history um, you can see what I bought so we bought the red spice for we bought 30 of them for 10,800 so let's see what we can sell them for yeah and that transaction history thing is useful because um, if you think you've made a good choice or a bad choice you can always go back and look and then you can actually just grab a calculator, do the math, and say, okay. Oh, yeah, 700. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these. Like, I could look around for something a little better, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell this. This is fine. And look at that, 21,000. 21,000. That's not bad at all. 30 crates, 21,000. It was only 13 jumps. So let's go ahead and sell that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check transaction history. Real quick. Okay, so it was ten thousand eight hundred to buy it, and twenty one thousand to sell it. So basically, rounding, that's like ten thousand dollars profit in just thirteen jumps. Ten thousand dollars profit, and that didn't take very long at all. And again, you can literally be watching a video on YouTube or whatever. That's like ten fifteen minutes tops to make ten thousand. That's like a thousand a minute. There's no reason not to do this if you're a newer player and you just like are bored because there are people that will literally run around Citadel for an hour saying how bored they are and doing nothing. Grab yourself a ship, you know, start hauling back and forth. 10 to 15 minutes a piece, you're making 10K. So in that hour, you could easily make 40 to 50K just hauling insecure if you're that bored. So again these right here and when I'm at Citadel too like here here you go this is the Hyrax it only hauls four the Mammoth hauls nine and the Rhino will haul six 
So any of those ships are pretty cheap. I have a bunch of them. When I'm at Citadel, I often will give these to people and then I'll just show them how to haul or even like um, with, you know, this is the Zubron. Hold on, let me show you this one real quick. So that's 20 cargo capacity. Uh, same as the Veil is like 16. So both of these are the Corvettes. So they're the similar, similar group. Uh, I don't have the Astero. There is an Astero. I don't have that one. Uh, this is the Shroud, which can haul 24, but it has a warp charge time of only three seconds. So it's a lot faster than like this right here. This is my Galaxy. It can hold 30, but it has a warp charge time of five. So if you wanted to take even less time than I did, you could use the Shroud and it's a warp charge time of three, but you do lose six of the crates because it's only 24. But I just used the Galaxy. It's fine. And you can outfit most of these with like flax, you know, light burner, whatever you want. But so that's the basics. And I hope you learned something. I hope you uh, continue to have fun in the game. Bye bye.